Hey, what's up? Robert here with another Photoshop video tutorial from robertsproductions.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Photoshop CS4 to show you how to put together your panorama photos. You take a sequence of photos, put them together to create one large stretched out photo. It's awesome. Do it. Take your tripod, take your digital camera, put them together, and take panorama photos. Now some digital cameras have the uh, panorama setting helper thing that will help you align the photos. It's a little bit easier but uh, you may screw up big time badly and that's where Photoshop comes in. So I took six photos. Didn't know how to count there for a minute. Six photos of a sunset in the backyard and I took them with a tripod because if I took them with my hand, these would be very jittery. Um, yeah, and possibly crooked and upside down. So I took them with the tripod, aligned them, and here they are. What we have to do is we have to mate them. We have to put them on top of each other. Yes. So how do we do this? Well, I like to take all my windows and just pop them out like 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 this. I can't explain it. So I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to click float all in windows and boom, they're all floating in windows. How sweet is that? Windows XP. Okay, so uh or or Vista. Sorry. Um I'm going to start from see this is 32. I'm going to start from 33 and just drag Close that 3 3. Where's 3 4? Drag. Close that 3 4. 3 5. Drag. Close that 3 5. 3 6. Drag. And 3 7. Drag. What the hell happened to 3 1? Nobody knows. Um, so I'm going to click here to make this, to close the swatches panel and just make the layer panel bigger. And, um,. So here we are. All of the photos are unaligned. They're screwed up. And um, we're pretty much screwed. But not for long. We're going to align all these layers together by holding down shift and selecting them all. And then we're going to go to image. No, 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 no. Layer. Align. Vertical centers. Layer align horizontal centers. Now they are all aligned, and hopefully, by my luck, they probably won't be in order. Okay, that's in order. That's the next photo. That is sure in hell not the next photo. So let's try to fix this. Okay, okay, okay. There's that photo. There's that photo. Okay. There's that photo. That photo. Nope. These two gotta switch. Okay, okay, hold on. There's that photo, then that photo, then that photo, then that photo. Finally, they're all aligned. So you want to make sure that they're all aligned. Did you see what I did? I made sure, okay, that's the first photo I took, the second photo, the third photo, the fourth photo, fifth photo, sixth photo. Okay, so the, there we have all of our layers are aligned and, uh, and uh, in order. So now we're going to select all of our layers again by holding down shift, going to layer 5, and going to edit... Auto align layers. Auto align layers. It's awesome. It's like automation, computer, automated, automatic. So projection set to auto, I believe, and lens correction. Don't check vignette removal or geometric distortion. Leave those unchecked. Then click OK. And uh, this will load unless you're running Windows 98. Or any other slow computer it might take you 10 days so we're gonna unzoom here and what happened this is crap panorama photos in Photoshop no this is like panorama photos in Microsoft paint so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna want to blend these together using Photoshop's blend mode so don't touch anything these should still be selected we're gonna go to edit auto blend layers this time panorama 
seamless tones and colors is checked and click OK. Two weeks later, you get your results. Let's see what our results are. Blend selected layers based on content. Come on, progress. Hurry up. Go. Faster. Oh, and if you talk to it, it will go faster. I guarantee it. Faster. Come on. You're winning the race. You're in a competition. If you don't win, you'll suck. Okay, so it finished. Here it is. The panorama photos are now blended together and Photoshop did an awesome job blending them. But we still have screwy edges and all jaggedy, weird, messed up lines, whatever happened there. So we're going to crop it and all we have to do to crop it is go to the crop tool or the crap tool. And uh, sometimes people like to be fancy and if you don't have the ruler open just click control R, control R and that brings open up the ruler. And then you just drag here to where you want to to crop it and uh, you know just kind of crop it out of the jaggedy lines and I'm gonna crop it up to about there crap it up to there and then I'm gonna make sure I have the uh, crap tool the crop tool and just crop it out boom crocky and double click and boom there's our panorama photo in Photoshop awesome sweetness created with a digital camera widescreen photo now we got to go buy a custom frame for this because do they make frames for images the size of this let's see whoa okay 27 by 9 inches 9 by 27 do they make a frame 9 by 27 i don't think so so um just uh yeah um that's that's all thank you for watching i'm robert from robertsproductions.net if you'd like to request a tutorial go ahead and hit robertsproductions.net slash request press the tutorial don't request a lip sync because all the lip sync videos i made on this channel have been deleted yeah copyright infringement wow sweetness um so that sucks right now I'm not very happy, but I, I still wanted to show you how to make panorama photos in Photoshop. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped some of you that are educated enough to learn to use Photoshop to work the computer and uh, to watch this video. So I guess until next time, take care.